Hello, monster. Hadouken. Hello, welcome to Game Rating Review. My name is John Mark, and today I'll be talking about Monster Hunter Worlds and some news that is surrounding it. So if you own an Xbox One, like my nephew, who made a really wrong choice in consoles, the online is broken. It is stated as saying, every time you start up the game, it prompts you to either search for an online session or create your own. If you want to see other people in your game and work with them to take down a certain monsters, you'll need to do the former. But currently, a whole lot of Xbox One players are getting no session found errors. This is across social media sites and the Xbox One and the Monster Hunter World subreddits to be specific. And then the creators of Monster Hunters actually decided to make a statement about what was happening and it is quoted as saying hello hunters we are aware of the xbox matchmaking issues and dev team is is actively investigating it we'll update you as soon as we can xbox has also noticed the issue and is doing what they can to fix it it's crazy that this is only for one of the consoles it's not for playstation and it didn't even happen on steam just Xbox and this isn't the first game that has had something wrong specifically with Xbox especially the Xbox one so it's interesting that it is happening again with another game I mean I thought they went into beta with this game I thought they can suss out these issues because the other the cons the PlayStation and Steam they're doing fine so it's kind of strange that that's happening in good news about Hunter Runner World they're gonna have DLC coming out where you'll be able to get the Hadouken and Sharukin or so you can gestures in the game while doing certain quests. You have to actually wait longer if you have a PlayStation, but with Xbox, if it's working, you'll be able to use it sooner. So it's interesting that a game this big, that I didn't think would be this big, but this game is way bigger than I even predicted it would be, would have problems. I don't think it would be that huge of a setback, but it's interesting that people are falling in love with this game, playing it for the first time. I'm actually very interested in it. And if I can get a crew, I would absolutely play it on PlayStation and I would love to see what it's about this game is not coming to the switch and the creators just, I mean they don't have time for that I think they want that graphical fidelity I think they want to be able to do good matchmaking and they know that if you're hunt monsters you're gonna to want to speak to other people and it's such a hassle to use voice chat on the Nintendo Switch is actually ridiculous. So I can understand why they didn't want to go in the direction of the Switch. They've had Monster Hunter games on the Vita, and so I know they have a good relationship with PlayStation, but for them to stumble on Xbox is something new and different altogether. So it's an interesting game. It's probably a very fun game. I also heard about Monster Hunter games as a learning curve, which is something I, that kept me away in the past. But this one, there's a single player mode. You get to learn a lot of the tricks and steps and everything that goes along with it. So maybe that's another thing that keeps it very fun. You get a little cat companion, which looks amazing and funny. And yes, would you try out this game? Would do you care about what's happening with the Xbox? Do you think this game has a chance of being game of the year? But how much hype it's getting, how many people are playing it? Who knows? And we'll see. Thank you for watching Game Rating Review. My name is Sean Mark. Please hit the like, subscribe, and the likes you see. And that was my opinion, but also facts about what's happening to Monster Hunter World.